in the almost three years that I've been teaching dropshipping on the internet, no question has ever been asked more than, Tom, how do I increase my dropshipping sales? Well, today in this video, I'm gonna give you three ways to increase your sales and how to get started with each method today. All right, so let's go over the three different methods right now in this video. So be sure to smash that like button. Let's get it out to as many people as possible. Number one is going to be multi-packs and bundles. I've talked about this for a long time now, but the method has not changed. A lot of people do not go out of their way to actually do the multi-packs and the bundles or learn how to use SKU Grid in order to do so or whatever software you're using. Almost any software out there, SKU Grid, any wholesale dropshipping software that you're using can do multi-packs or bundles. It's just that people don't wanna learn how to do it. And that's why if you learn how to do it, then you are going to see success and increased sales and profit margins. So the theme of this video is gonna end up being go where other people don't wanna go and do what other people don't wanna do and you will see more success. If you're doing what everybody else is doing, then you're going to see the success that everybody else is seeing. When you're doing multi-packs and bundles, let me put my phone down. What do I mean by that? A multi-pack is going to be the fact that you have one item that you're selling, but maybe it would work well in a two-pack or a three-pack. Maybe it's one chair. And you know, why would you only just buy one chair if it's like a bar stool or something? You probably want two or three, maybe four. So you could do a multi-pack of that. At that point in time, also, if you're paying for shipping at that supplier, say it's $10 for this item for shipping, if you're buying one, you will most likely realize that as you put two or three or four, and even when I'm dropshipping on from a website like Websterons, I see this all the time. Pretty much people will, you buy, you put two into the cart and the shipping is cheaper than if you put one into the cart. So at that point in time, you can even price your items lower and you know do what some other methods that we're gonna talk about later. When you're doing the multi-packs, you can think of things that are, you know, what would work well with one, two or three, maybe four packs. You know, any software out there can do it, SKU Grid and a lot of the other ones. And you just need to put in the time to learn and understand it. These listings will probably take a little bit longer to create. It's going to take some time to actually go out there and make sure that everything's set up properly. But you know, when you are doing so, you're gonna realize that the extra work is going to go a long way. And number two, I mean, going along with that is bundles. Think of something that goes well together. So if we're thinking about maybe something with camping related, you know, you could have like a, a camping, like cast iron cook thing or, and some spatulas or some sor sort of utensils for it or anything like that. You can think of anything that goes well together. And if they're singular items, then why not put them together? And even more, is, even better is going to be if you put together two items from two different suppliers. That way, nobody is going to really go out of their way to snipe that item. And you're going to be probably the only one selling that bundle or multi-pack because of the fact that you have two items from two different suppliers. Nobody wants to put in the effort to learn where the two different suppliers came from. And even if they do, then they don't want to put in the effort to try to go copy your listing. It's all about being unique. And when you're unique on a platform like eBay or Amazon, you know, millions of people are going to see it. And at that point in time, or have the option to see it, thousands of people will most likely see it. And as long as the items are good and you're putting them in front of the right people, then you're most likely going to make the sales. You know, if there's people that are just bulk uploading or listing the same items up as everybody else, you're just competing with everybody else. But if you take an item from one supplier and put it with another supplier in a bundle that makes sense, then nobody's going to go and copy you. I may, maybe like one audacious human being. Another thing I didn't even have written down is variation listings, specifically on eBay. I've, I've seen time and time again that variation listings not only sell for more, but do sell more often than if you were just to list, you know, the same item that has 15 different colors, 15 different times. If you put it all on one listing, the listing's gonna have better SEO from what I've realized and more people are going to see it. And that's, um, you know, that's very powerful as well. So number two is going to be using whatever platform you're on, promotions, whatever they may be. Let's talk about eBay, promoting your listings. Everybody promotes their listings, or a lot of people do but you know, maybe people are just promoting it at a certain percentage and that's, you know, everybody can do that. You can just click, but add 500 at a time, promote them all at one specific rate and then go from there. I never suggest promoting on eBay at the suggested ad rate. I think that it's grossly overestimated and I don't think that there's any point in really doing so. But what I do suggest is looking into other forms of promotions. There's the volume discounts, which a lot of people don't do, which can go hand in hand with what I was talking about earlier with if the item, you know, multiple items are getting added to the cart and the shipping's not changing, then you can add a very large bulk discount to that listing. And you know, when people are scrolling through eBay, it will say, save up to say 10%, 15%, 15% when you buy more. 
That's another thing that's going to stand out when somebody's scrolling through eBay. It's going to get your item pushed higher by eBay, by the Cassini algorithm. And you know, you're know you going to see more results because of it. I have one listing that I listed up that pretty much as I added two to it, the, the shipping didn't change. You add three to it and it went up by like $1 from like 13 to 14. When you add four, it goes up by like one more dollar. So I literally have it listed at the fact and it's a cheap item, but the sh it's heavy and the shipping's a lot. So I have it discounted up to if you buy four, I think it's 30% off. Another thing is who's gonna buy four? Not everybody's gonna buy four. So you're gonna get the SEO boost of saying, buy four, get 30% off. But most people only buy one, two, maybe three. Very little people will actually buy all four. So you're taking advantage of that. You're making more money because you're offering this discount, but nobody's really taking advantage of it. And you're saving money on the shipping in the long run. There's other ways to do it. If you know that there's a flat shipping rate, that's included into your listing price. Let's say that the on RSR is a wholesale supplier. You know they have seven dollars and fifty cents shipping across the board. If you're putting the seven dollars and fifty cents shipping into the price of your item, so you're offering free shipping, you can also offer something that maybe is a discount if you buy more than one. If you buy two, then take you know save five dollars or something like that. That means that you already know that you ha are gonna. It's only gonna cost seven dollars and fifty cents whether they buy one or two items. So if they buy two, then you're just you know, taking $5 off that, you're still making $2.50 extra on top of the shipping. And, you know, it, it's getting your, your listings pushed to more people. It's really about, like I said, going out of your way, being unique, being creative on how to actually make money um, and how to actually push your items to other people. If you're just listing the same thing, like verbatim, you're copying people's titles, which don't get me wrong, I do as well, but I'll copy the title and then I'll look at ways to actually go out of my way to make sure that that listing is better. And then lastly is going to be diversifying your suppliers. So we've talked about this for years now. If you're drop shipping on eBay and you're using Amazon, Walmart, Home Depot, which I, you're gonna get flagged if you use Amazon nowadays. Walmart, like everybody's doing it. I'm not saying you won't make money, but everybody's doing it. At the very least, if you're doing Walmart, like just just do like variation listings, do bundles, do something else, do multi-packs, just do something else, diversify yourself because I've seen the people that do do it are absolutely killing it. I've seen people selling $100,000 a month on eBay with strictly Walmart listings and literally only have like 500 listings listed and their 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 profits are higher than 10%. So, it can be done. Am I going to go out of my way and do it? No, I do not do Walmart onto eBay. I don't do Home Depot onto eBay anymore. If I'm doing retail, I'm doing other suppliers, one of which I mentioned earlier um, and some other ones, but it's mainly wholesale at the moment. But if you're di it, this diversifying suppliers doesn't matter whether it's retail or wholesale, you want to diversify. If you know, I've talked about a specific amount of wholesale suppliers on YouTube, a specific amount of retail suppliers on YouTube, but there's other ones I've never talked about. Maybe inside of courses and trainings, I've mentioned it before, um, but I highly doubt it. There's there's a few, there's one on Amazon that I specifically used for almost a year that legitimately before they like they cut me off from their program that I legitimately was making 25% profit margin. They were lower priced items, so you had to sell a lot, but they were selling a lot. I was making 25%, 30% profit margins on these items, retail, but I had a special program with them and I was making like six, $7,000 a month profit, literally just with this one supplier. I've never mentioned them out here. so. You know, there's secrets out there and the best of the best aren't going to say, oh, this is where I'm selling my items. This is not where I'm, gonna, this is where I'm selling from. You need to go out of your way and do the research and find your own. And when you get your own secret suppliers and you diversify, then that's where you're really going to see the success, you know? And if you pair that all together, God forbid you diversify to a supplier that has like maybe, like when I was selling that one supplier on Amazon, I was talking about there was like four or five of us doing it on Amazon, like in, in bulk, like thousands of listings from it and just really pushing this one supplier. It's probably only four or five of us. Not to mention there was very little competition and as long as none of us were undercutting each other that much, we were still making like 20 to 30% profit margin. At that point in time, if you diversify yourself even further, where you're doing multi-packs from that supplier or bundles or you're doing some form of variation listing, then you really took it to the next level. You know, there was only four or five people using that supplier to begin with. Now, if you start diversifying yourself, are any of those people gonna go out of their way to copy you? Or are they going to be content in the fact that you, you know, that there's only like four or five people doing it, so they're still gonna be making good money. They'll, they'll most likely be content. So to recap, 
multi-packs, bundles, variation listings. I didn't write variation listings down, but it came to me while I was talking. I don't know how I forgot about it. Different various forms of promotions. We talked about eBay promotions, discounts, volume discounts, shipping discounts, things like that. They also implemented recently like an offer code. You could say, hey, thank you for buying from me. Use this code, yada, yada, yada. They can come back and give them like 5% off or something. That will increase sales. Um, I don't think it's as good as just a volume discount or something like that, but it could work. Uh, also on Amazon, I've seen people that are drop shipping that will do PPC and actually do paid ads. And as long as they run a very low campaign, I've done it before, you do make sales. Um, I'm not very good at it. Uh, I'm sure I could get better, um, but I know that there are people that are absolutely killing it doing it that way. And then diversify your suppliers. You need to diversify. The suppliers is probably gonna be the most powerful part, but you can still be using the same suppliers as everybody else. Go out of your way, use different methods and still see success that way. So if you like this video, like I said earlier, please be sure to smash that like button. Let's get it out to as many people as possible. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the little notification button so you get notified every single time I post a video like this. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, ask them down below in the comment section. If you wanna reach out to me, DM me on Instagram. That's where, is that, I think that that's one of the most, the best platforms for communication. You know, if you're just leaving comments it's not really like a conversation. Some people probably won't like to leave some comments that they would ask in the DMs. Um, so reach out to me there. We answer every single one. And yeah, if you like this new video style, video format, I've done like three of these already. And I do think that this is a, you know, a better way to do it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one.